Hi everyone, I'm Seno and Ziggy asked me to share a testimony regarding faith and it's actually been a very difficult thing to prepare for. Um, he's, he's going to speak, or he told me he's going to speak on one of the scriptures that I absolutely love. Um, I love it, but it's also really such a struggle. Um, in my adult life, I've found um, believing in God and having faith to be very difficult things. And I want to share with you a story that I really relate to that has been speaking to me a lot, uh, especially during this time of COVID. Um, and it's the story where a father brings his son to Jesus for healing. And Jesus asks him, how long has um, it been since he's had this uh, demon? And he tells Jesus it's, he's had it since he was young and it has thrown him into the fire it has made him convulse and then he says but if you can do anything anything please help and Jesus says if I can do anything do you not believe that I could do this and he responds to Jesus with I believe but help me with my unbelief and that has become a constant prayer for me in the last eight months with the entirety of what's going on with COVID is asking Jesus to help me with my unbelief and a friend of mine shared such a beautiful testimony with me about how she was struggling uh, to accept her singleness for a long time and she said the one time when she was praying God told her you either believe me or you don't and I think sometimes faith is that simple we don't say that we believe that the sky is sometimes blue we do believe that the sky is blue all the time and so if we can get to the place of understanding God's character that he he is a good father that we can trust him that we can believe in him we don't have to say the sometimes I believe and other times I don't but I think it's important for us to also own the honesty um, in understanding that sometimes we do have doubt and unbelief and we should ask God to help us with our doubt and unbelief um, during the February fast this year god revealed something very big to me about my own character that that was something that i was struggling with that i was pretending to have faith when i knew i didn't i was pretending to believe in his word when there were very big parts of his word that i was questioning and i'm gonna always i'm always speaking about academics trust me but um i, I was studying for an exam and i kept thinking about all the people who i kept hearing testimonies of you know, I, I didn't study and I just felt like God told me to go to sleep and the next morning when I woke up, I got all the answers in my head or I felt I couldn't get to my material in time and when I went to write, it's like the Holy Spirit just spoke to me and I've heard these type of testimonies all my life and I never experienced it myself. And I told God that I believe that he can do it for other people, but he can't do it for me. And something that God has been speaking to me about since the February fast is understanding that I am a child like um, any other child that he has and what he does for one child he will also do for me so that has been a journey that I have been walking through the eight months and I don't have the answers yet I, I don't know what it feels like to believe God a hundred percent of the time all the time and in a simplistic way but my constant prayer is God I believe help me with my unbelief.